Hey everybody, welcome to your beautiful table. Today we're gonna to talk about Ina Garden's Cook Like a Pro book and a special recipe, so stay tuned. Thanks everybody for coming on back. If you're new to Your Beautiful Table, Your Beautiful Table is a YouTube channel and a blog all about helping you make your tables beautiful. We talk about china, silverware, glassware, table decor, linens, flowers, candles, home fragrance, all that kind of stuff. So if you like that kind of thing, consider subscribing and pointing down so you can click the subscribe button. Also stay tuned to the end of the video where I share with you how you can enter to win free giveaways. I was gonna say candle stuff, but it is candle stuff that I give away. So. Uh, this is the first uh, book review that I've done on your beautiful table, uh, usually, but I have a lot lined up. So, you know, I'm going to bring uh, to you some insights on some books that I love that help me have beautiful tables. Um, but Ina Garden, a classic, you know, recently she's been an um, Instagram sensation with her huge cosmopolitan picture that she put together serving Cosmos to help you get through the pandemic. I haven't had a drink in a lot of years, but it was pretty funny to see those. Like, I think she used one of those, like, I would say fake Cosmo glasses, but it was like bigger than her head. So it was amazing to see. Um, so if you're not familiar with Ina Garden, Ina Garden has had a television show. Uh, she was before that a caterer and owned a, a, a restaurant out in the, the Hamptons. And so really um, fresh, casual approach to American cuisine. One of the things I love about Ina Garden's recipes is that she prepares things ahead of time. They're ingredients that are readily available at just about any grocery store or farmer's market. And um, it, it makes it for an easy preparation and just put things together. It's more about assembly and, and preparing things ahead of time so that you know you can enjoy time with friends. Um, it's uh, The recipes aren't overly complex and it doesn't require a lot of skill. Plus, in her cookbook, she provides insight into how to be successful making the recipes. So you can have success from day one. One pro tip is I try to never make a recipe the first time when people are coming over. So get her cookbooks. Uh, go ahead and try out some of the recipes so that you'll be ready uh, when and if we can have guests over uh, to your home again, you know, after we have a vaccine and the pandemic, pandemic fades. But y'all, I have been cooking a ton at home. Um, you know, we have been making probably some of the same recipes over and over again, and we've gotten into a rut. And so yesterday I pulled out cookbooks and was going through them and so saw this recipe for... Faro tabbouli with feta and was like, that's it. What a great, fresh perspective uh, on a summer dish. So here's a beautiful picture of it together. So tabbouleh is um, a Middle Eastern uh, dish that has mint, parsley, um, usually some kind of grain like couscous, and then also a cucumber base with lots of lemon juice and olive oil. Um, Ina Garten in this particular recipe mixes it up. She replaces the couscous with farro and farro is a type of grain um, that you're able to find at the grocery store. It, now that is a little bit random, but I live in uh, a medium sized city in North Carolina. If I can find it here, you can probably find it too. And of course with Amazon these days, you can order farro on Amazon and probably have it delivered to you the very next day, if not same day delivery. So, you know, things that used to be once really out of reach uh, or, or, you know, exotic like farro, probably are available to you either uh, in a local supermarket or on Amazon. Um, so this recipe is really delicious and it's able to be served at room temperature uh, so you don't have to wait for it to chill or cool. Um, I actually kept it in the refrigerator overnight so I have a bowl of it just behind me that is chilled and cool which makes it great for summertime. Uh, it also is really great to travel so if we're ever able to have picnics again put into a little Tupperware or a Pyrex container head out to uh, the potluck, and this is a, a great one for summer salads. So it is almost robust enough to be a meal itself, So, but with some grilled chicken or um, baked chicken or any other protein, this would be great with kebabs. Uh, it would be great with uh, maybe um, uh, a meatball, those kinds of things. So a little bit of protein on the side, you're good to go. Some uh, sauteed shrimp also might be really good with this. So the, the, this, uh, farro tabbouleh salad really pairs well with anything from Middle Eastern, Mediterranean, those kinds of things. So one of the great things about this recipe, it is uh, you, you sort of make it in tandem. So w one part, you're making the salad part where you're chopping the 
uh, herbs and you're dicing the cucumbers. And while you're doing that, you're making the farro over the stovetop. Uh, farro cooks in about 20 minutes on the stovetop. It's, uh, as I mentioned, a dry grain. You, you, it's almost like a two for one where you put in two cups of water to a cup of farro let it um, boil and then reduce to a simmer for about 20 to 25 minutes and then it's ready. And by the time that's ready, you just mix everything together and it's super. So this is a great recipe. Uh, if you don't have a lot of time, it's also a great recipe that you can make days ahead or a day ahead and then have um, for a family meal a couple of nights. So, you know, I'm not going to share the whole recipe with you. You can buy Ina's book, uh, but I wanted to just share with you that this is one that I've, this tried and true that we've uh, tested. It's yum O uh, that I would recommend to you as well. So let's talk a little bit about this book. So Ina Garden Cook Like a Pro, this is a great cookbook because in the first part of the book, she has some really excellent pro tips. So we'll move through beautiful color photographs about cooking with confidence, giving you the, um, uh, you know, confidence to go ahead and cooking, talking about tasting as she goes to make sure that the flavors are, are working. A love affair with some salt there. And then talking about seasoning and how to plate things up. So you can go from zero to hero in no time uh, with this particular book. So um, great introduction. And then she moves into, wow, you know, talk about kitchen of your dreams. Then serving it up with cocktails. So, you know, from Ina's Instagram uh, fame there that she's in love with a, a cocktail. And so she moves into uh, different parts of the meal from cocktails to appetizers, salad soups, the main course, and then also a, a really great section in here about desserts. And so we've been able to make several recipes. We, from, we made the uh, crispy mustard chicken with uh, uh, the salad and then We've made lot, oh, lemon vinaigrette, buttermilk herb mayo, yum, yum, yum. So one of the things that I love about this book is the beautiful pictures. It shows how you should plate things up. And these are recipes that you're able to find the ingredients for nearby. Butternut squash gratin, chocolate chevron cake, yum. Summer fruit tart. So there's some great recipes in here for all across the year. So not just uh, for summer. And then these in-depth recipes and pro tips that Ina Garten provides are really superior. So I found that I really enjoy the cookbooks that I have from Ina Garten. Um, this one you can find on Amazon or at your local bookstore. Uh, the list price is $35. Um, it uh, You may be able to find, I don't know, you can find it uh you know, maybe use for less, but it's great to have your own copy because you can make your own notes. So I know a lot of people, yourself include, myself included, uh, use my phone. I'm pointing to my phone because I'm using it to record this video. Use my phone uh, for recipes. However, I really go back. I love flipping through a cookbook. I'm able to make notes in the side um, and the ones from Ina Garten are superior. And so I would recommend if you're uh, starting out something new or you're hit a slump, in your pandemic cooking, check out Ina Garden Cook Like a Pro, especially if you're a beginner. Um, this has been a, a, a great one, a great addition to our, our cookbook collection. So, friends, I made it. So, this is the Faro uh, Tabule salad, and so I'll bring it up. Maybe you can see it. So, there is the um, feta. This is the Faro. It's a grain. It has, um, this Tabule salad has uh, chickpeas. There's uh, Cucumber in there, lots, oh, and Kamada olives. So my mouth is watering talking about it. I'll do some bites or a bite. Mmm! So yummy. So mint, lemon, olive oil, you can't go wrong. One of the things that I would say is we left out about a half a teaspoon of the salt that's recommended in the recipe. There's Kamada olives, there's feta cheese, there's a little bit of addition of salt. They add a lot of salt on its own. And so I just felt like the extra salt would just, you know, uh, be a little bit too much. But you all can taste it for yourself and decide if um, it's already salty or you can bring it back and not add any salt at all. But this is super yummy. Excuse me, the farro stays chewy. It doesn't get soggy overnight. It becomes just like a wonderful, and the, 
you can hear me crunching the the cucumber so this is a great one it's a super for summer i hope you'll enjoy it friends check out ina garten's cook like a pro cookbook the other cookbooks are out there and we'll see you next time oh before i forget sign up for our newsletter below that's the way i do drawings once your name and email address are in our address book i do a random drawing and i'll send you some free candle stuff so thanks everybody for watching